Hello, my Livy loves. Welcome back to a new Timeless Love Tarot reading. Today we are doing Vintage Live Tarot <laughs> as a general reading to check in on the energy between you and your twin flame, your soulmate, your immortal beloved, where we're going to be asking spirit questions on your behalf. And we're going to be looking at what is your loves and current energy. How do they feel about you at this time? We're going to be looking at um, what are some specific messages? What would they say to you from their higher self if they could, especially if you're going through some form of struggle or separation where you may have minimal to no contact. And we're going to end with what action will they take towards this connection next. So that's why I want you to close your eyes, take a deep breath, meditate, get very centered so that you can take in the messages that are meant for you at this time. Because if you felt guided to this reading, there is something here that you need to discover about you, your love, and this connection. So if you are new to this channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. My name is Dr. V and it is my absolute passion and purpose to be on this journey to love, abundance, success with you. So if my readings resonate, make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. So before we get started, I want to give you your affirmation of the day. If you're new to this channel, again, we like to do affirmations so we can raise our vibration and really step into our greatness because, because it is from that vantage point that we're going to manifest all of the things that we want on this life's journey. So today's affirmation, which I want you to write in the comment box below, along with your comments about this reading, is... I am a winner in everything I do. I am a winner in everything I do. Put that in your vibration today and every single day because that is exactly what you are. You are a winner. You are here to win. And even if you're going through challenges, obstacles, and setbacks at this time, even those are a win because they are pushing you forward on this incredible journey. They are helping you to expand, right? Expand and grow every single day. So before we get started, I also want to let you know this is a general reading, right? So not everything may resonate for your situation. So just be gentle with yourself and take what does and leave the rest. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, the link to that is in the box below. All the information you need is actually at livetarot.com, as well as information on all of these oracle decks that I've created, especially for all of you who are on this journey. All right, so without further ado, let's get right into your reading. All right, so Spirit, can you please tell us what is your twin flame, your soulmate, your beloved's current energy? Where are they in their life's journey at the moment? Okay, we're going to start with these two cards right here. So we're looking at self-worth and beliefs. So I feel that your person right now, they are definitely trying to work on themselves in terms of what are their actual beliefs because they maybe have been struggling lately when it comes to their mindset about what is going on not only in this connection with you but also in their life um, journey, right? In their overall life journey. There's something in the way that they have formulated beliefs about themselves, about their own deservability, um, about what their own worth is that is being called into attention right now by the universe. So what I'm feeling is that they've definitely been getting these kind of nudges from spirit, asking them to start taking a look at 
Why are they making certain choices? Why are they engaging in certain behaviors that have not been serving them at this time? And sometimes it feels that the behaviors or actions that your person may be taking are actually reducing their self-confidence and self-worth rather than enhancing it, right? So I'm feeling that maybe in these past um, few weeks, their self-confidence and their self-worth has taken a hit in some way. Now, it could be from, you know, career or financial instability, as well as personal issues. But I'm feeling that it is a combination of both. I feel like they've kind of been been getting hit on all sides with situations that are truly challenging for them. But that is exactly why those situations are challenging their beliefs about themselves, because oftentimes it is only through these kinds of obstacles and challenges that come up in life that actually cast a light upon what our real beliefs are, right? What are the often negative or self-limiting beliefs that we have that get triggered when challenges come to us. So I feel like your person right now, they really want to believe in themselves more. They really want to believe in this connection more, but they have definitely been struggling to empower themselves in this way, right? And I do feel that they're also going to have to take a look at their own values as well, right? like what, not just what is their value for themselves, but what kind of value are they seeing in things in their life, right? Um, I feel that they really do need to understand your value better. Um, because oftentimes when we don't value ourselves as highly as we should, we also tend to devalue the people around us, especially the people who truly love us. And that's so unfortunate, right? That can put us in a really bad place because then what happens is that we start to take for granted the people that love us the most. So let's go a little bit deeper. What else is going on in your person's See, there you have it. <laughs> Not surprised at all with this Eight of Swords. What else is going on in their current energy? Wow. I'm going to get some more messages here for you. Yep, that makes sense too. See, so just as we were talking about you know, their own limiting beliefs and the way in which they may not be seeing your true value, especially because of the the blindfold that they may have put upon their own eyes and the way that they are self-sabotaging eight of swords makes perfect sense, right? There is definitely limiting beliefs here going through their head that is keeping them making not just stuck because I do feel that there is a stuck energy that they have, but it's even more than that. It's kind of like this energy of um, keeping holding yourself back because you are telling yourself things that are not true. There's something that is going on in their mind. Um, these thoughts that they're having that are not really themselves. It's kind of like conditioning, you know, it's conditioning thoughts of things that have been running through their mind almost since childhood. So I am feeling this energy that there are certain things that your person experienced in their childhood as well as growing up, as well as in past relationships that have kept kind of like this audio recording going on in their mind of limiting beliefs in many ways. And it's almost like they are aware of them, but up until now, they have not really chosen to deal with what those negative thought patterns are. They've let them keep them from really achieving a lot of what they want in life. They've, they've let it keep them kind of hiding behind these swords. It's almost as if these swords of limitation around your person has become a bit of a comfort zone for them, 
you know sometimes we get so used to this kind of energy we still get used to these thoughts that they almost become comforting even though we know that they are not serving us in any way but the more we entertain them the more we let them get to us the more they actually become a security blanket so it's almost like you are investing in your own limitation you're investing your time, your energy, your thoughts towards it. And so that is why I feel that there definitely is a, a, a day of reckoning that is coming for your person here in terms of them needing to take ownership of these limiting beliefs that are then leading them into actions and behavior that is not helpful to this connection, right? That is actually not bringing the two of you closer together, but in fact is actually creating a wedge between the two of you. See, you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons, right? So this is going to be very, very important for your person because it is definitely affecting this connection. It's affecting how they are truly viewing you and feeling about you now, right? In terms of what are their current thoughts and feelings? Because see, with this two of pentacles and this four of wands, you know, many people, and it's up to you, right? I always leave that up to you to decide whether you're on a twin flame journey or not. It really doesn't matter. I always say labels don't matter. All that matters is that love and connection that you feel. But for those of you who would like some sort of a confirmation of being on the twin flame journey, two of pentacles is seen by many as a twin flame card. So that I'm just going to put that out there for you. It's totally up to you to take that or leave that as it resonates. But there is definitely a lot of energy coming through here for your person wanting to create this four of wands with you okay this is an offer this is a celebration of your love your connection and your person wanting to make this commitment real you know wanting to celebrate sometime coming forward right into the future wanting to celebrate a commitment you know getting together physically, whether it's moving in together, whether it's moving to the same town, whether it's, you know, going into proposal, engagement, marriage, but they're seeing this beautiful picture with you, but they have been blocking themselves from that by also becoming very overwhelmed with the decisions that need to be made in their material life, right? Two of Pentacles is also the energy of having too many balls up in the air, you know, having to balance a lot of responsibility, um, a lot of things going on in your material world that may be getting out of hand as well, right? That may be getting a bit toxic. So this is why I feel that it is time for your person in terms of how they feel about you now. It's like they need to start focusing on their true feelings. They need to start focusing their energy here because they have let their own beliefs and their, their that limitation, um, self-sabotage really get in the way of them moving forward towards their ultimate dream. And their ultimate dream is this four of wands, right? So let's go in deeper now and we're going to ask the question, on what is it that they feel for you now based on right what were we seeing in this current energy spirit can you please tell us how does your twin flame soulmate beloved how are they truly thinking and feeling about you now what are their true thoughts and feelings about you now how do they actually feel now? Mm. 
This is beautiful. Guys, you know what? I'm so sorry. I just realized that I did not, <laughs> sorry, I did not um, um, go through this card. Choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. See, so that's also part of them taking ownership. Sorry about that, guys. I got very excited about that four of wands and then it distracted me. <laughs> Because I got, I love seeing the Four of Wands, right? So choose love. This is beautiful. Along with that Four of Wands energy and taking ownership, this is all about your person wanting to make that transition into making more conscious choices, choices that are coming from their heart, not from those negative thoughts that are running through their mind. So in terms of how they feel now, wow, beautiful. They are finding their purpose. This is so lovely. They are finding their true purpose here, not just in life, because I do feel that there is a lot of great energy coming through in terms of them trying to find their overall life purpose because they've definitely been, you know, getting sidetracked from that. But I also feel that you are a significant part of that purpose. And so they're trying to redirect that energy back to where it belongs, back to you. And that's what's so beautiful. Look at this. These are amazing cards because see your person, I feel like for a long time now, they have felt like they are going through the desert, <laughs> you know, this desert passage. See, trust there's a divine plan. It's like they have definitely been meandering, wandering, um, there's definitely an energy of them feeling lost, you know, lost in the desert, trying to find their path. And I do feel that they weren't really great at communicating this with you. Whatever they were going through and are going through right now, I'm feeling that one of the downfalls here, one of the biggest mistakes that they have made is their inability ability to truly communicate the truth to you. I feel that there is definitely some amount of shame um, because I feel that there's something within them that feels that they are behind in life. I don't know why I'm getting that energy from spirit, that specific phrase, behind in life, as in they wish that they were much further ahead in their own development, in their dreams, in their goals, as well as in being able to be a great partner to you. They feel like they are making up for lost time. They're making up for a loss. They feel that they are behind. They're, they're, they're very dissatisfied and frustrated with the progress that they have made. They feel that it is not enough. And the reason for that is because I am getting the energy again of that two of pentacles, them just having things that really threw them off track, challenges, obstacles that came up that kind of made them constantly wander this desert. Okay, so I feel that before they even met you, they had this wandering energy. And I feel that when they met you, when they fell in love with you, they felt that they were finally coming home from this long journey right here, from this desert passage. And isn't it so beautiful? Because look at this person. You can tell that they are struggling to make this journey. You can tell that they feel like they have been lost for a while, you know, there's a thirst, there's a hunger for home. And so what is so beautiful here to me is that there's this energy of how they feel now towards you is that they know that you are their home. They want to come home to you. See, cozy, warm, secure. You feel at home with each other. So you are definitely each other's home. And what's interesting here is that we're also getting the sun. So it's so amazing to me. Like, look at the consistency. Look at the beautiful picture that is coming out here in terms of the sun's energy, because the sun is literally the happiest 
card in tarot. <laughs> but I do feel that with your person, and we're getting the sun here as well. So I feel that with your person, it's been a bit bittersweet because I feel like as they have been wandering in life, as they have been struggling to stay on their path, as they have been distracted by that um, negative energy of holding themselves back and kind of like that audio going on in their mind, the sun has not always served them well. I feel like in this desert passage, the sun has actually made them feel more parched. <laughs> you know, I'm getting a very parched, dry, dragging, like, you know, um, meandering, thirsty, seeking your home kind of energy. And I feel like that is why when they met you and they received this love, which was such a beautiful thing for them to receive. I feel that they felt very abundant. They finally felt like they were coming out of this desert. They finally felt like the sun is now working to nurture them, not dehydrate them, <laughs> you know? So I feel like this beautiful energy of you coming into their life was them finally coming into some sort of receptive mode. And now that sun became that cozy, warm, nurturing energy. And I feel like it has everything to do with you. Everything to do with you. Because see, here we have this Six of Cups. Beautiful soul connection energy. Beautiful energy of wanting to reconcile if you've been in some form of struggle or separation. Six of Cups is a beautiful, beautiful energy of wanting that reunion. Um, wanting to come back home to you, okay? Coming back home to each other. There's definitely been some beautiful memories that have been created here in this connection. I feel that they, they associate this love with home. They associate beautiful, loving memories with this connection. And that's something that they want to come home to. So with this page of pentacles, this is really beautiful energy of them saying, look, I need to communicate with you because I feel that one of the greatest mistakes I made here was not letting you know what my struggles really are. For some of you, I feel that your person has kind of hidden their struggles out of that sense of shame or guilt or lack of self-confidence and self-worth, right? But that really does tie back into um, that sense of them really having really having this bad kind of audio right going on in their in their mind um it's something that they've really had to struggle with it's something that they have to consciously deal with every day in terms of you know not letting that mindset get to them, right? Going back to that belief scar that they got before. But this is something that they truly, I feel that if they can work on this, if they can heal from the, that negative self-talk, I do believe that your love is unstoppable. I feel like that is the main thing that is holding your person back. And if that can be healed, if that can be changed, and why can't it? Absolutely, yes, it can. This is, these are skills. These are things that we have to just teach ourselves, right? We can unlearn this over time, especially if we have a lot of that negative self-talk going on. It is absolutely doable. It is not some sort of a curse that your person has to live with forever. So I do feel this beautiful energy of them wanting to come to you and communicate what is going on with them, Page of Pentacles, and to do it in a way that is really realistic, you know, um, that really gets to the core and the heart of the matter here. I don't think that they want to hide behind these limitations anymore. They really want to make this tangible. They want to be able to offer something real here, okay? They don't, they don't want to live in fantasies 
and um, daydreams anymore. They want this to be real. So let's take a look at what would they say to you? What are their specific messages to you from their deepest heart and their higher self? What would they say to you now if they could? What would they say to you? Ooh, we had two jumpers here, so we're going to take them both. See? So this... Wow. See? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. This is exactly what we were just saying. I wasn't honest with you about my feelings at the time. See, they were not able to fully, they were not able to fully open up and tell you what is truly going on with them. But now they really do want to. Now, this is a special message. It's not going to resonate for everybody, but I feel that this is a specific message for those of you who are in some form of a third party situation. Um, I'm feeling that for some of you, the way this is playing out is that your person has been a runner in the sense that because of these ways in which they have been sabotaging themselves with that eight of swords energy, right? Um, they may have run into somebody else's arms at this time. Um, why? Because the connection with you really was challenging them to expand. Um, oftentimes, right? Twin flames, soulmate, deep, deep connections that are definitely from past lives as well. You know, where you've known each other before, you've been together before, you've come into this life to help each other to grow um, to help each other to expand and for that soul journey, oftentimes people are not ready for this, right? They are not ready to open themselves up at that level and they run and what they do is they run and go back into superficial relationships because they don't challenge them. See, I've committed to someone else because they don't challenge because those people don't challenge them. They don't, they're just superficial. They're just there today and gone tomorrow. But that feels easier when somebody is not ready, right? When they're not ready for that soul, deep soul level love. This is what happens. So this is for some of you. This is not going to resonate for everybody. I always look for you at airports as if we'll be at the same place in the world. So this to me is an energy, not just of airports, <laughs> but an energy of, um, for those of you who are in some sort of a long distance relationship, You're, you know, I know some of you right now due to what is going on in the world may be very limited in the way that you can physically be together. You may be, you know, long distance. You may not even be in the same country or the same city at this time. And my heart really goes out to you guys. I know that is so tough, so tough. And I commend you for being so strong in trying to work through that, you know, for those of you who are in that position. But here's your person wishing, really wishing that they can be in your physical presence. This is to me that energy of somebody who really physically misses you and wants to be with you, you know. So they are really longing for that physical contact with you. You brought out the best in me. I came alive in your presence. Wow, that is so beautiful. So, right, there is definitely something here that is so powerful in terms of your person wanting to be in your physical presence, okay? Wanting to be near you, wanting to come back into that Six of Cups energy. So let's take a look at what their next actions are going to be towards you at this time. 
Spirit, can you please tell us what are your person's next actions towards you and this connection? What do they want to do next? Wow, beautiful. Whoa. Wow, we're getting some really powerful energies coming through here. Loving it. Loving it. What actions do they want to take next? Towards you and this connection. Oh, look at this beautiful transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. You know, I feel like this is exactly what we were waiting for in this entire reading. Right, guys? I mean, if you see the journey that your person and this connection is taking at this time. It's like, this is exactly what they need, right? This is exactly what they need in order to come out of that funk that they have been in, right? In order to come out of the eight of swords energy. What a beautiful transition from eight of swords into transformation. And look, isn't it incredible how we had that energy of being fully bound, okay? I'm loving this, see? Going from being fully bound up and completely limiting yourself, tying yourself up, even blindfolding yourself to finally soaring free, right? To coming into freedom. All of these, this bondage is off and now your person is wanting to fly free, right? Look at this. I feel like this is going to be very important for them because this is going to be about them finally stepping into their own greatness and matching you where you are, matching your energy where you are. Because see, with that two of pentacles, as well as any kind of third party situation that you guys may be dealing with at this time is going to require them to free themselves and to really step into their individual power. Two of pentacles as well, all the different things, all the balls that they had up in the air, all the different things that are distracting them. No, it's time to come back to your center. It's time to come back to you, prioritizing who they are so they can prioritize your connection first above other things. And so I do feel very much so that if you guys have been in some form of separation here, um, they are feeling the loss deeply. Okay, This loss has taken them into the deeper aspects of themselves and their soul. I love this high priestess. They needed this in order to come out of this energy. You can't find your way out until you go in deep. High priestess, you have to ask yourself the tough questions, right? You have to start questioning why you are doing things in a way that is only bringing you loss. And if those audios of negativity are playing in your mind, you also have to go in deep to take those out. High Priestess is the way, right? It is the way. And I love that your person is doing the work. Look at this. They're bringing themselves back into balance. Okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous energy of transformation here. They're bringing themselves back into balance. Look at this. And from that energy, they are looking to manifest you. Wow, the magician. Mm. They're looking to manifest you. They're looking to do things differently than they have ever done before. And what I love about this, this is going back to that energy of what I was saying before, that it is a skill. If you are being bogged down by negative limiting thoughts, it is an absolute doable skill to teach yourself how to get out of that because you have all of it within you. The magician is such an amazing card for your person and you to get together because what it tells us is that you guys absolutely have all 
of the tools, the skills that are necessary to start manifesting at a grand level now, right? It is within you. The power is there within you. And look at this. Your person wants to start being supportive. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show that you care. So they are coming full circle into this amazing energy of now wanting to support you, to love and support you, and to bring this connection back into this beautiful balance right here. Wow. Isn't this amazing? Look at this beautiful balance that the two of you are achieving here and coming into the 10 of pentacles. Wow. Amazing. We're getting that four of wands along with the full circle of the 10 of pentacles. So here it is the absolute dream fulfillment, the desire that you both want to create a life together and to have it all. I mean, 10 of pentacles, what could be better? This is the two of you building a home, a life, a family, if that's what you'd like, a legacy, everything coming full circle because it's all about this. Wow. Look at this. It's all about this. This is a celebration of your love a celebration of your commitment, coming back into the soul connection, cozy, warm home, and the 10 of pentacles, literally having it all. And I think it's all going to be very much a part of your person coming out of that limiting behavior, you know, coming out of all of the limitations, transformation, coming into their true purpose and what it is that they want to build with you. And their true purpose is building this Ten of Pentacles with you. I love it. I love it so much. So please let me know what you thought of your reading in the comment box below. Of course, if you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order any of these Oracle decks, just go ahead to livetarot.com and all the links are also in the box below. Guys, thank you so much for being here. You know how much I love you and I'll see you all on the next video.